Shalom brothers and sisters. Welcome to this update video on the set apart calendar. But first I'd like to say all honor and esteem goes to our heavenly father Yahuwah. In the name of Yahusha Hamashiach. Brothers and sisters, this video is going to cover a few topics. Uh, I got a few mistakes I need to correct um, with the calendar. And we need to go over this, these four dates of Noah. Uh, and also, uh, we need to cover the translation of the moon in the scriptures. So, y'all know that the heathens have indeed uh, made some terrible translations, either on purpose or by mistake or error, era. uh, whichever one, uh, let's just throw all that out. Let's just look at us doing the homework, doing the research, and getting the correct translation of the word moon. And once you get the correct translation right, you won't go astray. You won't go wrong. And there's many Hebrews that are making their calendars based on the the moon cycles and you would go astray every year every year the calendar would change the Hebrew their Hebraic calendar will change every year but the Most High's true calendar will never change if you go by his rules and his rules is that he made the lights that's right in Shamayim to divide the day and the night and for signs, seasons, days, and years. That means he made the sun for signs, seasons, days, and years. He made the moon for signs, seasons, and days, and years. And he made the illuminaries for signs, seasons, days, and years. All three. He made all three to do this job. You need all three. Just as we used back in the day. We didn't just go by. The lunar cycles are at the lunar circuits. We went by all three. The patterns of the sun first, which is as your bridegroom coming out of his chamber, as Psalms 19 says. It is the head. It is the start. It is the beginning, brothers and sisters. Just like uh, uh, right here in... Sorry. Uh, right here in... Uh, Book of Enoch, chapter 72 says, And this is the first law of the lights, the light called the sun. Its rising is in the gates of the Shamayim that are towards the east, and its setting is in the western gates of Shamayim. So, it is the sun that comes out first. It's the, it's the sun that leads. Brothers and sisters, just as Adam was created first and then Eve was taken out of Adam. Just as Adam is the head and Eve is the helpmeet. Just as Adam is the husband and Eve is the wife. The son is the head and the husband. And the moon is the helpmeet and the wife. Now the luminaries are like. The children backing the parents up. They continue on supporting the parents. Y'all see it? Can you understand this? We see this theme over and over throughout all the scriptures of this husband and wife relationship. In many stories of the scriptures. Like the Most High being the, our head. The husband. And him choosing Yahshua to be his wife. And those grafted in Gentiles who were amongst us. Whether they were serving us or joined to us. Were like our helpmeet. Brothers and sisters. Can y'all see that? It's you know. The, these things are really simple. Once you understand and start to see these things unfold throughout all the scriptures. So. You can apply it to many different 
uh, scriptures and situations in the Bible, including this one here. And another thing I want to bring up is that you know how Eve, as the helpmeet, decided that she was going to follow that serpent and believe him over her head. And then she went astray and then she brought that that uh, terrible uh, shady information to Adam. And then Adam fell where well, the same thing is with following the moon. When you follow the moon, you go astray. And, and Moses tried to warn us. He tried to warn us. Well, it's the most high warning us. He says right here. Least they forget the feast of the covenant and walk according to the feast of the Gentiles after their error and after their ignorance. For there will be those who will surely make observance, observations of the moon. Now we're disturbed with the seasons that cometh in from year to year, ten days to soon. And this is a true statement. You don't even need the scriptures to, to study the moon and discover that it comes in ten days to soon every year. It's not exactly 364 days of its circuit. But the sun regulates that. And the moon backs the sun up with its... um Increasing and decreasing of its light. Helping the month. Helping the order. Just as well as the stars or the luminaries. Help the sun and the moon. In its yearly count. In its yearly order. And back them both up. Can y'all see this? It's not hard. Some people are throwing out the book of Jubilees. Because of some translation errors. Take your time with it. You see something wrong. Write it down. And go study it. Bring before most high. And figure, that, figure it out. Book of Jubilees is solid to me. Except for a few mistranslations. This is where you have to study yourself. To be approved. That you won't be destroyed. For lack of knowledge. Right here. This word right here. This actually means the moon right here. But in other cases, it doesn't. It doesn't. It means cho dash. So let's take another look at a mistranslation that will throw you off and keep you following the moon. And this is how simple and easy it is for those to get confused. Let's look at this verse right here. It says... And the moon conducts the years exactly. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Did we? Wait, wait, wait. Let me go to Jubilees. Right here it says. For there will be uh, those who will surely make observations of the moon. Now it disturbeth the seasons and cometh in from year to year ten days too soon. And this is where people are saying, no, this is wrong. This is bad. This is this book ain't true. Just because it's the translation. Now, this translation was correct. Yarak. Or Yarich, one of them. Uh, and it, it is actually talking about the moon right here. And it's telling you that the moon that comes in 10 days too soon. And if you take a look at the moon cycles by every year you'll see that yeah it, it does lag behind the um, sun and the rotation of the stars or the luminaries by 10 days every year y'all see that so when you go back here with that knowledge base and you know that this doesn't mean y'all reach it means um, uh, Chodesh a whole dash, uh, or head of the moon. What is the head of the moon? What head? What's the headship? What is the bridegroom? What that we read in Psalms 19. It's the sun. The sun is as the bridegroom coming out of his chamber. It is the head. It is the start. 
when it 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 leads and it counts the days 364 days exactly not the moon just simple one thing would throw your whole a whole video off your whole direction off and get you following the moon just like um the arabs just like ishmael just like some of the jews or the jewish people just like others other nations follow the lunar first and make it it the head this is how quick you can go off in a stray and it's easy as doing some calculations here now let, let's read right here it says in three years there are th 1092 days now we know the sun and the stars conduct themselves 364 days every year so all you gotta do is get the calculator Three hundred sixty four. Let's do times three years and what you get. Oops. How did that happen? Trash that three sixty four times. Ah. OK, start over three sixty four times three. One thousand ninety two. Y'all see that? 364 days a year times 3 years is 1,092. Come back here. In 3 years, there are 1,092 days. But if you do the calculation for the moon, because it comes in 10 days too soon, you got to do 354 times 3. 3. Okay, why well, ain't working? There we go. You get 1,062 days. As it says right here for the moon or your reach alone the days in three years comes to 1062 days you see the correctness and in five years it is 50 days behind y'all see that that matches what's in jubilees they are coming up correct um let me just highlight this on right here yeah it comes in 10 days too soon let's go back and we are witnessing that it does come in 10 days too soon in this book as well but all of a sudden you jump up here and it's saying the moon conducts the years exactly 364 days what put on the brakes brothers and sisters we got to do some calculations and research and that's what we're doing right now. We're adding things up. So you got to be careful with the translations. This should be in the head of the moon or the head of the month conducts the years exactly. It's talking about the sun. Y'all see it? Hallelujah. This is really the moon. It's talking about the moon. Because it does fall behind 10 days. And if you do all these calculations. You'll get this. You'll come up with the same thing they came up with right here. See how simple that is. One little thing will lead. Someone would take this in their video. And say you see the moon conducts the years. All 364 days. Without even thinking. Without even calculating. Without even proving. Without looking up this to make sure that this does mean moon or it doesn't mean the sun. This is talking about the head of the moon, the sun. Hallelujah. I thank the Most High for uh, opening our eyes to these mistranslations. So now, everywhere it says moon, you're going to have to look it up, brothers and sisters, and see if the word Chodesh goes there or uh, Yarak. See if either one goes there. And if it does, it has to line up with scriptures. If this is the word Yarak. 
and it's telling me that the moon goes exactly 364 days, then somebody's lying. Either, either this book and the rest of this stuff is lying down here, plus the book of Enoch, or the translation is a lie. And we discovered that the translation is a lie. Yes, you're going to have to do your homework. Look right here. It says, for the difference in eight years is 80 days. And all the days that the moon is behind is eight year in eight years are 80 days. All you got to do is calculate three times. Let's just do it. Let's do the calculations. 354. The moon comes in. Uh, it cycles. 354 days a year. You times 8. 8 years. That equals 2,832 days. Right? Now. Let's do 3. 64 that's the normal sun and luminary count every year times 8 equals you see that you subtract the difference of 2832 and you get 80 days that simple to fix what was broken up here. So we, we, we did the math ourselves. We seen that the, the moon does come in 80 days late in eight years. It falls behind 80 days in eight years according to the, the regular 364 day count of the sun and the luminaries together. Those two keep its pattern and rotation in it. They do not fall out of the 364 day year count that the most high set forever. Now look right here. And the year is complete, completed exactly in accordance with their positions and the positions of the sun. In that they rise from the gates from which the sun rises and sets for 30 days. See that? The sun leads. It, the sun leads. And all the rest follow. Yeah. You're going to get some people that's still going to come, come here. They're going to do the research and they're going to accept the first thing that pop up and they're not going to go real deep on this one. And they're going to remain in their own deception when it's so easy to see that this translation makes this whole thing false. Because you, you're proving uh, that this this here translation is false right down here and up here and in uh, the book of Jubilees. And in this chapter here, chapter 72, where the sun, uh, let me go up here. Uh, let's see. Right here. And the first, there rises the greater light named the sun, which leads. You see that? It is the first to go through the gate and start its the patterns and the moon follows and the the rotation of stars back both of them up very easy brothers and sisters if if we just take time out to do the homework it will make sense but we know that the heathens are um constantly throwing confusion in our way from returning to the true calendar of the Most High.
And so we got that part straightened out. So for any of you who was confused about this, it's head of the moon, head of the month. You put that word in there, everything falls in sync with all of this down here, what's being said. Plus what's in here in Book of Jubilees, it, it lines up. It's, it, 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 it bears witness to one another. And again, if you, um, translate, bring these other translations corrected, uh, head of the month here instead of, uh, new moon, then you'll understand this part as well. Just as I've been showing. But anyway, just wanted to bring that correction. And you do this deep homework. Do the deep homework. Go deep with this here. Until it does make sense. Because if you use the new moon right here. You're going to throw the years off. You'll never ever have a, 300, a full 364 day year. Following the lunar. And you will be off to every feast day, every Sabbath, everything following just the moon and the lunar calendar. All right. Let me go over a few errors on the calendar. And then we're going to come back to the proper translations of these here. So let's go to... Where is it? Here we go. Okay, I made a mistake on the calendar. Uh, not on this setup or any of the boxes, but just on these verses right here. And on the sixth month. This is the first month. This should say Enoch 72, 31 through 32, or whatever your Bible uh, sorry, your your book of Enoch scripture says right around this point where there's an equal day and equal night for this um, particular fourth gate at the end of the year. So somewhere at the end of 72, uh, it when it's talking about the gates and it's, t it's talking about um, how much daylight there would be and how much night there would be, there should be a one part where it says uh, there's an equal day and there's an equal night at the end of that calendar. And, and that's the scriptures that's supposed to go here. And the same thing, since there are two equ equinox every year, there's one uh, at the 12th month, as you can see, I, I'm ending the 12th month right here in this section. So you can see it roll right over to the first. But otherwise, I would have had that X'd out like I X'd this out. Uh, so just keep that in mind. This is supposed to be like X'd out. And that first week is supposed to end on the 12th month with day 364 and then pick up uh, on the next line as the first week right here and here during the first month but let's go to number six the sixth month okay this is the scriptures that's supposed to be here for the six month for the equal day and equal night on the sixth month on the 31st it should be somewhere in the middle of Enoch 72, chapter 72. And it should be the, the fourth gate portal that the sun is going through during the sixth month, uh, with the 30, with 31 days. And it should say at the end of that particular sentence, it's an equal day and equal night. So I forgot to put the scriptures there for that. And on the 12th month, 
Uh, I just added the scriptures again here. Uh, as you can see, this is still the first week where I ended. I put the X's here. But on the first month, I just wanted to show you, show you that it rolled right over to the first. And it's still the first week on this here page. I mean, on this first month. So just keep in mind, this, this here is part of the 12th month. All right, brothers and sisters, now that we got those corrections out the way, apologize for that. So let's get to this translation stuff here. Okay, right away we know that the Most High said he created the lights for the signs, seasons, days, and years. And we know that in the first two set-apart videos I did about the calendar that it said that the sun is the head the sun leads and it counts the days the seasons even the feast it keeps the feast it keeps keeps everything in order it's the head it that's the head's job just like adam just like man is the head of the woman it's his job to keep everything in place but that woman has a job to back the husband up and to be to help him keep the household in order so look up in the sky and think of that as a household for the sun the moon and the luminaries and the sun is the lead of that and it keeps everything in order though we know it's the most high keeping it in order but y'all work with me on uh, that parable of Adam and Eve being a you know uh, well looking at the sun and the moon and the luminaries as a family, as uh, the head, the help me, and the children. <clears throat> and again, we see the same relationship with Hamashiach being the head over Yasharal, who is his bride now. And those who are the help me is like is the Gentiles. We see the same relationship with Yasharal being the head and the firstborn. And um, you see certain of the Gentiles being the helpmeet and certain other Gentiles being like the children. What I mean by that is, look at the household of Abraham when he put um, Eliezer in charge of his household. And he, he ran the household like as he was, as if he was his son. He was as a helpmate to Abraham. And then you had the other servants. Uh, following him. You know as as uh, the wife. And following Abraham as the husband man. So we see this. This parable theme. Throughout the scripts. Brothers and sisters. And it, the scriptures was really unfold. If you if you can see this, and as you reread and everything, you will see all this unfold. You'll see this relationship between us and the Gentiles, and you'll see their place, their position, and place. Just as the woman was made for her purpose, the Father said, "He's given you the Gentiles or your brothers for an inheritance." That you may lead and guide them, help them, walk in the way of the Most High. Be a light to them. Be a light to them. So you got the sun being a light to them. He's the head. He is rotating up there, leading and guiding perfectly every year. It will never change. He will go through his one through 364 day count perfectly. And though the moon has its phases of the moon that, that that happens every month, it comes in 10 days too soon. And if you end up following Eve or the moon, you're going to fall. You're going to trip and stumble. And that's what Moses was uh, warning us on. But some of you still want to believe the, the Naveem or the prophets of today standing up 
and deceiving you. Whether it's according to their error or their mistake or their mistranslation or purposely. You're still falling behind them instead of the Most High who worked through these prophets back in the day to tell you the truth. These are our first options, brothers and sisters, not our last. We go to these prophets first, our Navim first. I think I'm saying that right. Navim, Navim, something like that for the word prophet. But anyway, let me show you a mistranslation here. Uh, but first, let's go look at the word, the words. Okay, I created this document. I'm, I'm including it in the calendar, that, the replacement calendar that I'm uh, putting in the description box and uh, in the on my website, and I'm going to pin it to the comment section. This, this is called Calendar Makeup. Because it's going to show you the makeup of the calendar. But first you have to understand this word here. Chodesh. And this word. is This is either uh, pronounced Yarich. Or Yariak. Whichever one. I don't know. But y'all work with me on it. So I want to say Yariak. Uh but your reach is fine <laughs> so this is the word meaning moon and the proper translation was put in uh, oops uh, Jubilees here we go right here this was the proper term because you are actually really talking about the moon right here so your reach and y'all do your own homework and research on these words and everywhere where it says the moon please take time to just research it and don't just take the first thing that pop up and say oh, you see this is it no do a deep thorough research now up here where it says new moons and we'll forget the new moons and seasons and sabbaths no this is an improper translation this is, should have been Chodesh, our head of the moon, head of the month, the first of the month. That's what it should have, should have been there. And let's go up here where there is another mistranslation. Right here. No moon. No moon. Where it should have said first of the month. How do we know this? How do we know that this word should be Chodesh instead of Yarich? Simple. Let's go over here. I mean, you just research this. You're going to know this means first of the month. But let me show you something here. Let's drop down to Genesis chapter, to Genesis chapter 8. And let's look at this portion of chapter 5, verse 5. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wait. Okay. Right here it says, Genesis chapter 8, verse 5, in the tenth month, on the first day of the month, first day of the month were the tops of the mountains seen. Uh, let's go back to Jubilees. Right here it says, and on the new moon of the tenth month, the tops of the mountains were seen. Hold up. What's going on here? And there's an improper translation here. I'm gonna show how you. I'm gonna show y'all how this is wrong. If you if you keep this definition as moon instead of first of the month, it's gonna remain. You're gonna remain in confusion, brothers and sisters. The Most High isn't about confusion. Y'all know that. Let's go back over here. As we can see, the proper translation right here is in the tenth month on the first day of the month where the tops of the mount seen. Now let's go up here and it says, And the ark rested in the seventh month on the seventeenth day of the month upon the mountains of Ararat. Let me go back over here. And on the new moon of the seventh month, all the mouths of the abysses of the earth were open 
and the water began to descend into the deep below. Okay, if you put the first of the month right here, on the first of the month, of the seventh month, where all the mouths of the abysses were open, it took 17 days for the tops of the mountains to be seen. Y'all see that? No, I mean, it took 17 days for the ark to rest. I'm sorry about that. It took 17 days for the ark to rest on top of the mountain. But then, three months later, then enough water receded to where the tops of the mountains were seen. Y'all see that? Y'all see this pattern? But if you get month for moon wrong, like if you put Yah reach right here, and the ark rested in the seventh moon. What? The seventh moon? It, it doesn't make sense. So let's go back to Jubilees. And let's drop down here to uh, 6, chapter 6 and 23 through 29, I believe. Okay, this is going to tell us something critical. Now, if you do the proper homework and research, this means first of the month, not new moon. I'm going to show y'all the conflict and the confusion. Y'all bear with me. And on the first of the month, if you put the proper word, it lines up. First of the month, uh, on the first day, sorry about that. On the first day of the first month, and on the first day of the fourth month and on the first day of the seventh month and on the first day of the tenth month are the days of remembrance and the days of the seasons and the four divisions of the year so now we're breaking down the year by its seasons four divisions there are four seasons and on that first day you were to do something, brothers and sisters. These are written and ordained as a testimony forever. And Noah ordained them for himself as a feast for the generations forever, so that they have become thereby a memorial unto him. And on the first day of the first month, he was bidden to make for himself an ark. And, uh, and on that day, the earth became dry, and he opened the ark and saw the earth. Now, let's just stop for a second. Let's, let's go look at this calendar for just a moment. So, with the proper translation, on this first day of spring, you have a memorial day that you have to celebrate. Why? It's the beginning of a season in the four divisions of the year. It wouldn't start on the new moon because the new moon could be over here somewhere, over here or over here. It would never start on the same day every year because it, it comes in 10 days too soon. And your first day would be all over the place if you had to make a new calendar every year. The Mosai calendar never changes. This will remain the same, the same setup. When you start off with the sun, count first and everything else leads behind it you'll never go wrong because he put the son as the bridegroom as the head as the lead as the man you put your count one through 364 day you always end up uh, the same but if you go by the moon these moon phases will shift it won't be this, the moon won't be in the same place this time next year. 
when you look when you come to the first there will be a different moon pattern right here you can't follow the moon brothers and sisters alone let me put it that way you can't follow the moon alone you need all three and that's why I include all three because the most high said so not because brother Jedaniah said so so Chodesh means head of the moon just as it says in Psalms 19 he comes as a bridegroom out of his chamber and the moon and his luminaries follow behind it he's the head he is the first he's the head of the month the first of the month Chodesh y'all reach just, just talking about the moon so you have to do the homework brothers and sisters so the Mosai's calendar is based on the sun the moon and the luminaries which they call the stars which is linked to a pentagram brothers and sisters and they work together why is it because I say so or is it because the most high says so did we not read it so this is scripturally correct and if you don't start your calendar off right you will go wrong every year your calendar will change every year if you don't do it like this if you don't start your seven day weekly creation count one through seven as your foundation of the calendar you see the most I created everything in seven day, well six days and he rested on the seventh that's your seven day week that repeats itself over and over and over again as you see right here I got the foundation set up one through seven Sabbath day right here will always be right here it won't rotate it will always be right here all the way down the 52 weeks of the calendar there are 52 weeks of of the calendar every year so if you don't get this line right and this right everything will be off and if you don't start with the sun first everything else will be off track y'all see this order the most high the set apart order you must get your foundation correct brothers and sisters first and his calendar is so easy to understand if you get these basics right there are four seasons every year, or four divisions, as it says in uh, Jubilees. Four season change days every year. That's where you get that extra day right here at the end of uh, each season. There are 91 days per season, 13 weeks per season. This will never change. Three months at uh, the first month, 30 days that second month well one month is 30 days the next month is 30 days and that last month is 31 days because of the season change day and this happens every season every season and uh, day 4 was a creation day he was creating the sun the moon and the stars on that day then when he saw that everything's good he set it in motion on day 5 he created life and that's why day five of the creation week is the first day of the year. And it lines up when you test it with scriptures. We'll get to that in a moment. But right here, the fourth day will always be day 364 of the sun count. Day 364 of the sun count is the equinox every year on the 31st day of the 12th month. That's This is how you cannot go wrong. If you know the equinox day, every year, it will fall on the same day every year without fail. And it will always be the 12th month, the 31st, day 364. Or it could be, remember you got another equinox here. Every six months you have an equinox. So when you hit that six month, and you notice that, hey, wait a minute, it's an equal day and it's an equal night then you'll know that it's the 27th week it's day 182 of the sun count and it's day 31 of that six month count and this will never change every year it will be on the same day y'all know the most high never changes everything is just 
there. It's as simple, it's easy to understand if you get an understanding. Next year, it will fall on day 182. It won't come over here or rotate off, do all these other things those other calendars make you do. But his calendar will always remain here. But the moon phases will change. If you follow the moon, you're going to have everything screwed up. The divisions of the year won't, won't line up because you won't be ending summer on this day. The, the sixth month on the 31st day ends summer. If you do the moon, you're going to end it over here in the beginning of fall. Your divisions of the year is going to be all screwed up every year. It's going to be cause so much confusion every year. But the most high is simple. It's so simple. Let's go back over here. So if you get these two days correct. Let's go back. You start off your calendar right according to the creation week. Day four, we know that he created the sun, the moon, and the luminaries. That's day 364. He was in creation mode right here, right? Then he set him in motion when the day was over. For this day, because life was created. How do we test that? Well, we know that the Passover was on the 14th in the middle of the week. We know that how much he had died in the middle of the week. So Moses was told to start his day here because in the middle of the week they had a Passover you could test that with Hamashiach as well in the middle of the week he died on that tree and he was in the grave for three days and three nights and we know Miriam came that's that um, first day of the week to come t uh, to check on the tomb right and he was gone. He was in there for three days, three nights. It lines up, tested with scripture, brothers and sisters. And guess what? Every year, the Passover will remain right here. During the fourth day of the creation week, it would always be on the third week. During the fourth day, it would never change. You will always know that the Passover is uh, on this day. See how simple the Most High is? But these other calendars create confusion because you're following Eve. You're following the moon. And you're all out of order, brothers and sisters. Because it's going to change every year. Their season's going to fall off all out of whack. It's going to be all off. And y'all are under confusion with some of these brothers and sisters out here posting calendars without without um, testing them. That's why this is a test calendar, brothers and sisters, so we can get a good understanding over the next two or three years together and then make a permanent calendar. Don't trust people that just throw up calendars and say, here, here's your calendar. And then they go over explaining it and it, it follows the moon alone. There's no count of the sun there's no count of the uh, luminaries. Come on, y'all. The Most High gave us all three for these jobs. We know that the sun is for feasts, and we know that the moon is for feasts. It says so in the scripts. It helps. All three helps. All the cycles, all patterns, and all 364 days. I'm not going to leave none out, even though some people don't care about this calendar and don't care what it says. Uh, they're going to follow what they want to follow. They're going to follow the men of today anyway, rather than the men of our past, who the Most High spoke to directly. This is what's happening. It's idol worship. They're throwing out the words of the Most High for some men today on YouTube. And it's getting sadder and sadder. So if you don't get this first day correct, everything else is going to be off. Now the only thing, like I said before in my other videos, my first date. 
uh, the true day of the equinox. This is based on research and a uh, app that I looked at for the accuracy of when the equinox day is, which was March 16th on Monday. Brother Jediah has the same type of calendar set up as mine, except for his first day is March 20th, or his equinox day is March 20th, and his first day is March 21st. That's the only difference, but his calendar is is set up the same way. He, he has the same understanding, I believe, when it comes to his calendar, where the count, where the sun count is first to day 364, and this is day 364 every year. It will always land on this day right here. Now, let me show you another calendar that I downloaded. I'm not going to say who it is, but this calendar is just an example of if you don't do the proper research at home, you can go astray. Number one, right off the bat, they use the Gregorian Sunday through Saturday. You can't do that. One through seven or one through six and put Sabbath here. If you don't start off the calendar right it's going to be wrong now we know on the fourth day he created the sun moon and the stars that was day 364 and on the fifth day should be day one y'all see the mistake here they started over here their, their th day 364 was March the 21st so they started day one on March the 22nd that's an error. And even reading down here, it, it seems to me that they're saying the equinox is right here. And that's not correct. It, this calendar is not set up correct, but it's, it's set up like the Gregorian calendar. It, it wasn't to begin on the first day. The first day wouldn't begin on the first day of the, of the creation week. That's not what's written. This is off, brothers and sisters. It says right here, the Hebrew Yahshua-like months are numbered in the following order, starting with the equinox and Abib. No, starting with the equinox and Adar, which is the 12th month. Remember what we read? Well, I didn't read that, did I? Let's go here to 72, 31 through 32. It says on that day, and we're talking about the 12th month, Adar. You know, that day, the sun rises from the second gate and sets in the west and returns to the east and rises in the third gate for 31 mornings and sets in the west of the sky. And on that day, the night becomes shorter and amounts to nine parts. And the day amounts to nine parts. And the night becomes equal with the day. And the year amounts to exactly 364 days. Simple, isn't it? It's telling you on the 31st day, there's an equal day and equal night. And it amounts to 364 days. Let's go to my calendar, see if that lines up. This is day 364. Though on the last day, the 31st day of the 12th month, on the equinox. Which means the next day is the first. It lines up. And then if you count 14 days from here, you'll always land in the middle of the week. You got three days this way, three days that way. Middle of the week, in the midst of the week, in the middle of the week. Every year, it will be the same right here. It won't change. Your Passover will be the same day. It won't slide over here next year. It won't go up to here on the uh, on the calendar the next year. It won't come down over here for the next year. It will remain in the middle of the week every year, just as it did when Moses and when all the way up to the time how Mashiach was put on that tree and gave up the spirit on this day. It was the middle of the week. It never changed. His calendar never changes. It's men that change, brothers and sisters. 
So do y'all see the mistakes here? If you start your Equinox on a, in a bib right here, and then you put this as day one, this this calendar is era. It's much era. Now he did get this part right. Look at this. This part is right. During the during the spring, you have that one one month. The first month is third day. Second month thirty. Third month is thirty one. Just as I listed in uh this document here. Three months per season at the first month, 30 days. Uh, I should have put second month at 30 days. Okay. I'll go ahead and change that. Then third month at 31 days. Because you got that season change day. Everything lines up. It's so simple, brothers and sisters. When you got everything lined up correctly. When you start your calendar off right, you will always land right here on day one. This will always be day one. Because your 14th day have to always end up in the middle of the week. And your equinox will always be right here. And all the feast days will fall perfectly. Hallelujah. Do y'all see this? Now, back to this. You got four divisions. They are perfectly lined up with three months per season. It starts with day one to day 91. If you put them all together, count them all together. 91 days per season. The Most High would, would not start his calendar or these divisions with the new moon because it would shift every year it would it would it would disturb the orders every year so when you put the proper translation there you can see the the calendar lines up perfectly when you put the first uh day of the month or the head of the month the lead of the month the beginning of the month right here first of the month then everything makes sense, just as they did right here in Genesis. They put the proper translation right here, first day of the month. So think about all the other places where you come across where that translation is wrong and you think of the moon. Doesn't the Arabs follow the moon? Why are you following them? Doesn't some of the Jewish people follow the moon, the lunar calendar? Why are you following them? Some of the other uh, Ishmaelites follow the lunar cycle. You know, they worship the moon pretty much. But the Father told us right from the very beginning, He gave you all three for, to do the job. And you need all three, but sisters, are you going to go astray and you're going to be following calendars like this? that don't start off right I mean it's a good test calendar if they would have said hey this is a test calendar but when you put out that this is a truth calendar you put yourself in trouble when, when you don't do the full research now in my video I may have said restored set apart calendar or something in effect but you heard my mouth open up and say this is a test calendar and we're going to test it for two or three years. And if there are any mistakes, we will correct them together. We will bring the, the, the real calendar of the Most High back in line together. This is, this is off. How are you going to end up on the 14th and then three days later? There's no Sabbath. There's no Sabbath day. Look at this. This is after the era of the Gentiles. 
and this is after ignorance. Study yourself to be approved, brothers and sisters. Do research and homework. Don't just accept the first thing that pop up. Do a deep search and pray before you search. Bring in the spirit of righteousness and truth that you may get the calendar right or you will be following the moon people who is posting moon calendars and who people whose calendars got a twist of the um, Gentiles in there. Now the reason why and I've explained this in my first video reason why there's the Gregorian there is because you have you live in this world in their world and you got doctor's dates you still need this calendar for government purposes and work purposes and other thing purposes that's why it's in here but the most high calendar is first I laid out his calendar first before I added the Gregorian calendar was done last brothers and sisters before I added it uh, I did everything first I did the sun then uh, of course I didn't do the moon phases because I couldn't figure out how to get the pictures to get up in here small little pictures and that would have been a lot of drawing to for me to add it uh, I haven't quite figured out how to get the phases and make them small enough to fit in here but for now we would have to draw them in and color them you have to print it out for now until we get a more permanent calendar made in the future because this has to be tested all of it has to be tested with scripture it has to be tested over uh, the course of two or three years to bear witness for two to have two or three witnesses and we must test it as uh, to bear witness one with another according to this calendar so Every year, the constellation will return right here. There will be the same constellation here next year uh, during this whole month. Y'all see how easy this, this is? If you start it off correctly according to script. Simple. So do your homework. Do your research. Test this calendar with me. You got any questions, comments, uh, please let me know. If you can't understand something, uh, email me. If we need to talk, we'll talk. I mean, if, if we, 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 if we do it through the email, that's fine. But what all you're getting, get an understanding, brothers and sisters. If you truly can't understand this calendar, ask me some questions or take the time to read it. Read all these things over and over until you understand them. Read the scriptures till you understand each one. Now, the last thing I would like to say during this update, there may be four more days that I'm going to add here because I came across four more celebrations that we're supposed to be celebrating that's in the, uh, the fourth month and the, wait a minute, it's the fourth month and the fifth month and the seventh and the tenth. And I'm still doing, I got to do some more research on those days. And, uh, see what those about so we may have 104 days of days that we have to observe you know whether it's a feast of Noah or Passover or unleavened bread or feast of dedication or the feast of Mordecai and uh, Queen Esther or the feast of Judas Maccabees or uh, some other feast day, you know, we, we there's a hundred, and it's possibly a hundred and four days, brothers and sisters. So I'm, uh, I'm uh, when I get that that video together, I will post it, and we will go over that as well and add that, and I'll put the scriptures on here as well. 
uh, with those other days of a uh, feast, feast days we had to observe. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom. Thank y'all for tuning in. And I'll see y'all in the next update video.